to Trials to Triumph, where we embrace hope even in trials and where we're changing lives one struggle at a time. Today I want to take some time to talk with you about something that affects most people. It's our pets. Did you know that we have an opportunity to learn from them as we can take cues that they give us each day? And did you know that they can teach us many things about life? I recently learned that pet ownership has tripled since the 1970s when I was a child. And in 2012, research showed that 62% of U.S. households owned at least one pet. Growing up, we didn't have pets. The only pet I remember was a goldfish. And growing up in Southern California, the goldfish lived in a barrel outside on our side patio. We not only had to feed him daily, but we also had to add water each week that had been evaporated. The fish only lived a couple of years, as we noticed that the neighbor's cat had climbed over our fence and ate him for a snack. My husband, on the other hand, lived on a farm for much of his childhood, meaning that in addition to cattle, they had lots of animals and pets that were always around. So for most of our marriage, we have had at least one pet in our home. But for the last nine years, we have enjoyed the sheer joy, energy, and love of our German short hair pointer, Kona. Kona is a puppy forever, but she has a specific role in our family. She's always checking to make sure everything is okay. She's inquisitive, looking to check on each room of the house and any noise she might hear. But most of all, she's always ready to give and receive love. But Kona can teach us many other life skills. I recall when she was just weeks old, and she noticed that a butterfly had come into her surroundings, and she stopped and she pointed at it. She plays, she eats, she sleeps. But she's always happy to see me. One day I got to thinking, it's really just like God. God is always eager to give and receive love. God is always happy to see me. God is interested in what I'm doing and wants to be involved in my life and my decisions. God wants to be closer and closer to me, just like Kona. How do you approach life? Is it similar to the way Kona does? And if not, how different would your life be if you did? How would your life be different if you slept hard, played hard, and worked hard? And in addition to that, you learned how to love hard. What if you kept your eyes open? and your ears open for anything that came into your environment? What if you were always ready to give and to receive eagerly unconditional love? Your life would be completely different. You'd have many more wonderful opportunities before you. As a hospital chaplain, there's not a day that goes by that I don't have a patient who says they are so excited to go home because they want to be with their pets. You see, they have learned what it means to love, and they've learned what it means to be committed to those they love. If you don't have a pet of your own, I know you have friends that do. Take some time and spend it with them because you can learn invaluable 
life skills. And in the midst of that, you can ultimately learn how to love like God while drawing closer to God at the same time. Thanks for joining me today. Please take time and leave comments below. And for more thoughts, stories, and words of encouragement, I invite you to go to my Facebook page, where we focus solely on embracing hope, even in challenges, and where we're changing lives, one struggle at a time. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.